All right, guys, here we're gonna talk about the movie Candy Stripers. 2006's Candy Stripers. Lee, had you seen it before? Oh my God, it's not Candy Strippers? This whole time I... No, but literally when I first saw it, I was like, that's a funny pun. No, that's not, a, that's nothing. I've never heard of this before. I've never mm. seen it before. This is all, you know, a, a completely new experience for me. Mm. I, I saw this a while ago. I remember seeing the box and it intriguing me because it's it's like cat people on the box. What? They're like leopard women. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, what is this? Because there's like the whole like Amazing. thing where like, oh, cats can like lick a wound and sanitize it or whatever. I'm, I'm like, oh, is there some sort of demonic, uh, you know, uh, play here <laughs> where like they can symbiotic relation with people as like they're doing this. Like, oh, I take your sickness and this and that. Some murderous thing. I was just going to say, some ancient Egyptian cat yeah. god is licking my wounds. It's amazing. Uh, but no, it's that whoever designed the cover uh, had nothing to do with the movie because they sure. don't look like cats at all. There's yeah. more like tentacles and aliens and stuff than Absolutely. there is anything else. But even the people making this movie, I feel like, aren't 100% on the page with what's on the script. No, no, no. Uh, and we'll go into that in spoilers. Uh, but this movie's interesting. I like this movie. <laughs> it's, it's not um, good. No. No. But I feel like... Um, we, we have different standards or different thresholds for like mm -hmm. whatever. This is enough of a real movie to me. And some of the like, uh, there's some outtakes over the credits you know, yeah, at, yeah. at the end. But even before that, like I think that I got the sense that like they're having fun and like some of that fun transferred into me <laughs> watching it where I just, this was a like, you know, bad movie that's good because it's bad thing to me. This was like that's at, at kind like of what it is. Level. I would As, say it's more of a yeah. bad movie that's bad, and that's why it's good than it is a good bad movie. Yeah. But but yes, well, we're no, no, in similar I mean. ballpark. Like, like, I'd have to make sure that everyone knows that it is not like a good film. No, it's kind of fun though. Yes, but this is like you say this about like a lot of films, but like this is one that I'm you know maybe as more of a normie coming at it, where like I need to be able to and like the sound mixing was not great, but you could almost hear what they were saying. The acting was bad, but not like so, like like you know like like things were good enough. It kind of looked like a movie enough that. I was able to like engage with it. It got Lee's it. sex pervert points. <laughs> it's also like a horny movie, but it's but it's not even horny enough as like a twelve year old boy. There's like, like a playmate or something as one of those one girls. Of the people. Yeah. But like, like, like she's like, like shout out to the be box, but I don't even something. know who that is. Yeah, yeah. It's like 1998's Playmate of the Year or something no, like, bullshit like that. This would be something like, yes, as a like young, you'd be like, oh, sexual content. And then you'd be like, I just watched an entire movie for like two titties for like two seconds. This is awful. Right. This is not, it's not it worth even it. A pair. For that yeah. No, just, just individual. No, it's, it, it's not even worth it from that perspective. Mm -hmm. That's like a horny movie. Yeah. So the general plot of the movie is uh, some kids end up in the hospital and yeah. uh, the candy stripers are aliens that are slowly uh, converting and taking over and killing people in the hospital and they yeah. must uh, escape with their wives the and stop guys. this from taking over the world. Exactly. That's kind of all you need to know. As standard as as as, as can be, right? Tale as old as time. The basic plot. Uh, there's only 36 Shakespearean plots, and that's one of them. So if that sounds like <laughs> something you're interested in, or if you've seen it before, follow us over to spoilers, and if not, pull out now. If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're Cannibal Video, and we eat the competition. All right, guys, so here we are for the spoilers of Candy Stripers. So Candy Stripers, the thing that most attracted me to want to watch this again was a scene that's not words. in this movie. Oh. <laughs> I had a memory of kids in the hospital and, and, and like, you know, them getting their diagnoses and like this really hot nurse or something. And one of them goes like, yes, I have a broken leg <laughs> and gets to stay in the hospital. Um, and the other one gets like sent away or whatever. And then like, you know, bad shit happens just like this. Like the exact same plot, except that line is in it. Uh, I don't know what movie that is. I was going to say, what movie are you thinking? I don't know. Okay. I didn't actually look into it, but it's cool. not this movie. <laughs> I'm guessing that would be you. Mm -hmm. this, uh, that almost happens. Almost, and I was waiting for it, and I actually, I don't rewind almost ever, but I rewound to that first bit like, wait a minute, did he say it? Did I miss it? Is it in the background? Did my no. childlike brain just grab it? Like, that's great. No, it, it's a really funny scene that's not in this movie. Sure. This movie does have some funny bits and some some problems, obviously, as we say things. The things that I have to talk yeah. about immediately, uh, so we mentioned that the cover depicts these, like, leopard people that are not in yeah. this movie. They are they are alien, seductress people. There are tentacles. What the hell? There's a mix uh, <laughs> where you're like, where do the spider webs come in? This is strange. Where is everybody? Uh, I don't know, because, you know, that, yeah. that's what happens. So, like, if you were to just the, take it all in. I believe that there's a line by somebody who's like, it's all weird out here. Look at that. And there's, like, cocoon yeah, webs yeah. or something like that. 
What did I tell you? It's weird out here. I think I might love this movie, actually. I don't know. It's just something about the because that could because you're absolutely right that makes no sense. Okay. No, no, none of it makes sense. Yeah. And uh, so I definitely don't love this movie. Yeah. Um, I think it's a fun group watch, but I, I couldn't at all get behind it being like a good movie. Or, no, you know, it's not a good movie, but that's what it's for. I think it is is like for fun you would have in a group or something. Yeah. Yes. Right. So like, but yes, you have these leopard women who are actually like tentacled, like uh, guauld, like yeah. mouth transplanted things, almost so. like the parasite from Kiss. <laughs> Uh, the kiss, from the kiss. Uh, and and then they're like weird alien face people. There are tentacles. Okay. Unexplainable so, things happen throughout the whole movie, up and to and around those webs. <laughs> so there's one point in the movie when someone just has a full alien head. Yes. And it's only thing. one point, really. One point, and that whole thing is one of the few times I think they just literally didn't have it, and they were like showing different clips of things and trying to be ah, it's a scene though, and ah, it's done. Yeah. And it's so, for that to be like the climax of the movie and to be all thrown together with that. But throughout the whole thing, yeah, like it doesn't seem like, it seems like, you know, they even say like you're infected. Like yeah. you haven't been like replaced by an alien. No. Uh, and, they're, and they're like- You have the virus, which is a, a like well, big ass baby slug thing. You got it, man. You got the infection. Why no one survives the infection. And someone says like, oh, you have a giant green tongue or something like that, right? And yeah, like the one nurse, I think, I think that it comes out for her to infect the other nurse. A candy stripe or whatever. I'm calling them nurses. And then, and then like she pulls it back out. Like it is like her tongue or like a weird thing. Oh, I thought she was birthing into a fishbowl at one point. That's later, and and that seems like something else. That's like a different mm. color. That's not the green tongue thing. I don't know what's I just going on. You know, different babies. Yeah. Different. No, no, no. But but I think after she's infected the other nurse, like I think what actually happened was that 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 big thing comes out of her mouth and goes into the other nurse's mouth, and like an egg goes in there, or like something happens. It's it certainly seems like possible. The, the whole thing may not go in. There's a whole lot of ideas here, yeah. and I think I actually think this movie has potential to be an amazing movie if you just wrote it to be like a better movie. Like it's, yeah. it's very much treated like, oh well, hand wave, I don't care, do this type of thing. Yeah. But these these premises of these these sugar addicted people that are like once they're infected is a good tell for a monster movie. So you'd, you'd know what these people are. The idea that insulin is is their yes. uh, is their kryptonite is also a fun idea. <laughs> So and I think that could actually go places. Like uh, the one chick uh, drops her insulin, right? But she's like doing insulin. You know, she's like giving herself a shot. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's gonna be a thing. She's like, I'm not gonna have her insulin later. And then I'm like, they're in a hospital though. They, they, they you know, they have you know access to more insulin th than they could ever want. Like, how is this gonna be like an issue? That's so dumb. And then and later, it actually, it, it becomes. I'm like, oh, that's actually good. This is actually the best great. part about that is is almost like a like a bad version of the faculty here. <laughs> Yeah. You have like, you know, like, ah, oh, like, like she shoots her up with the insulin and she's like, thanks, I needed that. Because in my head, I'm like, yeah, she never did get that insulin. <laughs> thanks. I needed that. She did need that. Well, she passes out because she has too much insulin. Yeah. Like, like giving someone too much insulin is bad. This whole thing of like, shoot us both. I'm like, no, 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 don't do this. Yeah. This is bad. I don't know if your heart can stop, but I think like, you like, like she passes out from it. I needed that. Shit. I even thing. wondered, just in general, the yeah. hospital stores all their insulin in a cabinet. Yeah. And, and like insulin can survive outside of a cold like a environment whatever, yeah. for, for like almost a month, I want to say. But a hospital storage wouldn't be storing it like that. You would store it cold so Listen, that if anything happened, it we comes We can't out. afford a fridge. The fridge had all the beer in it. We can't be filming the fridge right now. I guess. It's too loud. We got to show a cabinet. Yeah. Here, take some insulin. But like I'm, I'm used to like uh, insulin. Always, always, always gotta keep it on ice. I got this. I got yeah. a lot of, and this they're like, eh, 
No, it doesn't uh, matter. These like air guns, I think she calls them. And, and so I was it, like- It's an air injector. And then she goes, see, and hits him in the neck with it. And she's like, don't worry, it's not low. And I'm like, did you just put air into his like arteries? Like, what are you doing? You just killed yeah. him? What's happening? It's an air injector. It deploys on contact. It's not loaded. <laughs> Yes. Well, I think it, I think it had no canister of air. I know, to be lo- like but it made the psh, like noise. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh God, you killed him! I, I, I <laughs> it's so a good. lot of questions, a lot of interesting <laughs> things. Because my thought yes. too was in much like like oh, a stake to the heart, I'll kill it. I'll kill anything. And I was like, I was like, oh, like a like a, a shaking needle into anybody. I'm like, yeah, I'll put like a piece of bubble into their veins, and they'll have a stroke no, and, and like, die. Yeah, I don't know how much insulin they're giving everybody, but yeah, I think if you give them uh, like enough insulin, they'll pass out, whether they were an alien or not. So well, it's the faces <laughs> jarring about, <laughs> and it's it's like yeah. a I'll, I'll call this one a good bad effect. Where yeah. like it's it's yes. clearly like a little short of what like you know. It, it might want to be, yeah. but I think it's it's much more uh, serviceable than you would ever expect the movie to be doing. No, and it's consistent is the biggest thing. Certainly. Like, as fans, like you and I are fans of Hercules' Legendary Journeys, yeah. right? It doesn't matter if the CG, like, quote-unquote, looks real. It just matters, like, you deploy it in a certain way, and uh-huh. these are just how skeletons look in Hercules. Yeah. Just deal with it. They look horrible, right? Whatever. And same thing here. Yeah, the weird. It's like the stretch warp. Tool yeah, it's a, it's a fun thing. warping effect. Just, distortion. It, yeah, yeah. Just to communicate to us, they're like it's reacting in their bodies. It's killing them. No, I, I didn't dislike yeah. it. I I thought a lot of it's weird, and you can cover up a lot of the bad acting with they're aliens. So like yeah. they don't know how to act. But people are acting that way before they're aliens too. <laughs> no, so. everyone. The, yeah, that's the best thing because the one because the girlfriend's infected, mm-hmm. and that's like a big reveal. <laughs> <laughs> But like you don't you don't know when she got infected, no. and it's irrelevant because it, it her beha- yeah. behavior is so ridiculous and dumb the the, the entire way through, right? There's yeah. a part where um, I'll say our main girl, so the sister of the guy who gets the little infected. sister. Yeah, yeah Cherry, she I like think. goes away and she comes back, and this whole time she's been wearing like like four layers. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, she's now only wearing two layers, so it looks like she's in a totally different outfit. Yeah. <laughs> and, and she now has like heavy eye makeup on. Yeah. Go with Crystal. Are you sure? Go. Her like and shoulders are the, exposed, right? And yeah. She's like, yeah. Because she was wearing two two tank tops, like a sweater and a jacket. Yeah, and now she was, she's, she's ditched the she two tops. She was completely those. 90s'd out, and now she's looking... And the yeah. girl that later gets infected, we don't know when, yep. goes, goes, She's infected! Look at her! She's hot! Oh my god, look at her! She's totally hot! She must be an alien. <laughs> look at her, she's all hot like, all of a sudden. In my mind, I'm like, wait a minute, did she... Because I, I, I was she, trying to... Didn't, I, I was, did she change her outfit? And I'm like, I'm like, okay, no, no, that was underneath. But I'm like, she did do her makeup. What the okay. hell is that? What is the big deal here? It's just a kiss. It's not as if you haven't been. <gasps> oh my God. This is probably my favorite, one of my favorite things here, all right? I believe the line is, oh my God, she's hot now. She must be an alien. Yeah. And you're like, okay, we have not established that, that there's aliens. I can't believe you actually think I'm one of those disgusting alien things. I don't even know if if this latecomer to the party chick even knows what's going on or, or or that they're aliens. She saw some weird stuff. She did see some weird stuff, but I don't know if like like they've not on camera discussed like oh yeah you you know did you hear about the lights in the sky they must be no th- there's like nothing so she just says she must be an alien and no one there says wait what an alien like, well, like whatever the, the other chicks just like fuck you or or something like that. Look, she brought him with her. Bitch. And yes, the oh my god, she's hot now thing, because yeah. this would make sense if the movie had a whole thing in it where she, you know, like went in the back room with one of the candy stripers and like got her and then had to like pretend she's infected now. Sure. So she, you know, showed some skin and like did her makeup and came out. I was like, hello, I'm, I'm all acting like this now. But none of that happens. No. And, if, and like it's they not explained at all. Yeah, it's not implied. There's just a scene where someone, you know, like appears while she's grabbing the insulin and she has to get her. And then the next time you see her, she just looks totally different for no reason. Why would you apply eye makeup in the middle of a tactical operation? This girl also didn't leave the hospital the whole time. Yeah. She was there for three days. Yep. Three days just sleeping in a chair on like the corner there. And I'm like, what is it? Why? We've all done that. Why are you doing this? But Cause, cause, because the love of her life was, was in the hospital. We don't even establish that it was for sure like a weekend like yeah. 
and even if it was, it would have had like, you know, she would have been, oh, now it's like, it's Sunday, you're still there, and your parents aren't like, where are you? What's happening? You, you've eaten an doesn't, apple the last whole week. Doesn't mom need you? And she's like, no. What are you doing here anyway? Doesn't mom need you or something? No. <laughs> this is great, yes. Her, her brother, I couldn't get past him. He was far too old to like be ah. that character. You suck. You get the good drugs and you get the girls. Oh, you. Yes. A couple of them were actually really old, but that one... The like, other guy's even worse, right? The third yeah. frat boy? The, yeah, the one that, uh, I got water on my brain or whatever he said. Yeah, I got, I got a concussion. I'm like, is that your dad? Like, who is this? What? Looks like your season's over. What's wrong with you? Concussion. I got fluid on my brain. Just talk about how they even end up in the hospital. Oh, right, So they yeah. get into a, a, a little fight on the basketball court. Like, two teams... Full oh. court fight. Not and little, epic Anchorman style fight in the middle of a basketball. And game. one of them gets a, his leg broken, the other one gets his mm. wrist broken, and the other one gets a concussion. Uh -huh. And and this is like, yep, that's what happens. And I'm like, what? Yep. Uh, and why are they in the hospital? Because sports. <laughs> Uh, the one guy breaks his leg, isn't even in a real cast, yeah. uh, and then they keep him in the hospital. Is it broken? I thought it was because, well, okay. Because he was in traction. No, I know, but he wasn't even, you know, he was not in traction, so I was like, okay. Yeah, and that, they, that's and, just a word he oh, heard. And there's that amazing scene where they're like, we're just going to pop it back into place. And then yeah. he's like, oh, God. He's like, almost got it. Let's try again. <laughs> almost got it that time. Ready for another guy. Ready, doctor. No, no, no. Ah! And screaming all that stuff. Yes. The friend uh, has a broken wrist, but yeah. that's that's not a that's not a cast. It's like a weird like oh we strapped this thing on. There's like laces and stuff. It's like I'm like is that a thing. hockey pad? Like yeah. fruit. So uh, you going home? Yeah, my folks are coming. I'm not a minute too soon. It's really weird out there. Yeah, what is some that? Some weird thing. Yeah. Very very weird. Because. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, if you're gonna have them in the hospital, like, like, it was irrelevant that they were basketball players. True. They could have just been people, and they could have been roommates in the hospital, and you wouldn't have had that really sad uh, looking bus thing. Oh, God. you were so good at that. They have a full bus, they have a school bus, it's a bus, but they have five people get off the bus, and then five cheerleaders. They don't even have a full team for basketball. Okay. <laughs> Why do that? Now, there's but a, then there's, there's a, a crowd. There, there's a huddle outside. Yeah, of them. Yeah, <laughs> those are people, right? All right, get around, boys. Come on. All right, we got our hands full of it. The Panthers are tough, very tough. But we could take them, right, guys? Right? Yeah, right. right. It, it's, it, was, it felt very weird. It's extremely I'm like, scuffed. You, you yes, have yes, yes. a basketball court, yeah. and you have fans in the stadium. Yeah. So, like, you did something. But so you would at have the end liked of the day, to, it didn't pay off for the movie you, anyway. You would have liked for at the climax of the movie for the guy to have to like sink something approximating a basket <laughs> to like well, save the day, I right? I would have liked just a reason because yeah. if you're gonna put them in the hospital, those don't make sense for hospitalizations. Uh, uh, I broke my wrist. I was in the waiting room longer than I was in the doctor's office, and certainly oh, no. didn't stay there. This takes place a long time ago because uh, well, there are cell phones, but they don't work. And I have to stay here, and I can't even make a phone call. And uh, so it's like flip phone time. It's like I, I very, think this takes place when it was filmed. It's like very old. No, no, I'm joking. That takes place even earlier than that. And yes, the uh -huh. hospitals were much more open and like accepting. It's a small, t you know, area. It is, it is supposed yeah. to be a small town in California, yeah. but it's, it's not that small. That's a no. very, very large, uh, I said church, hospital. That, that like, you know, there's a great scene where they're like, no one leave this pandemic. It could be, you know, Ebola. We don't, I mean, it could be Ebola. Ebola is very specific. Have you eliminated this and this? And yeah, why throw in Ebola? Was Ebola hot then? We're doing extensive testing on them. Have you ruled out Marburg or Ebola? This time we don't know what has infected them. In this time period? I guess. I don't know. I thought Ebola was, was more recent I think Ebola that. is just something that, that's like, everyone has heard of it. Evergreen. And you go, oh, that's horrible. What are the symptoms? No idea. No oh, idea. God, it could be that. Something bad. He gets sprayed with a web on his face and just leaves it there. What's that about? And doesn't question, hey, this web on my face from this, this well, nurse like, trying to hook up with me. It's like growing back or something, right? It's crazy. I just think he never tried to, he like took it off and some of it came off. At one point he says like, see, it comes right off. Like, leave me alone or whatever. But then it's like back. I just love it when they're talking about me like I'm not here. See, it comes right off. That is a continuity error because oh. it was just there and not there, there and not there because of what days they I mean, in like later scene. scene. Okay, yeah, I was going to say like, like, like later scenes yeah, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no. in the hospital waiting room thing, as like their people are trying to leave and they're saying, no, no one can get out, blah, blah, The cash driver, for no reason, roll up on these dudes. <laughs> Uh 
-huh. And she like slashes a guy's throat. Sorry, ma'am. No one's allowed to leave right now. Hands up! Kali Ma's is fucking hard. <laughs> Yeah. And you're, and you're like, why? Why did you do that? No, it's insane. Because you would think that that is, oh, they, they are preventing us from leaving. Yeah. So we should like stop them or something like that. But They're no. They're keeping their food in. Those people are preventing everyone else from leaving. That should be good for you. You shouldn't want to kill them. They're alive. I think I'm going to puke. We got to do something to help them. There's nothing we can do. Well, how do you know? <laughs> Very and it's strange. so over the top. She does like a like a neck break with her legs on a guy yeah. and all that stuff. <laughs> and he's the, like this happy scene, guy. He's like, ooh. Yeah. The scene, yeah. He, no, that must have been like a weird like. It's my dream to have my my head between your legs or whatever. Some some extra was like, I volunteer. To yeah, get he donated. Killed. Ex he he yeah. gave this much to money the, to, to be the, part of the production. He'll get killed on screen by exactly. by a famous. I imagine porn that's star. a playmate yeah, and whatever. just oh playmate. I'm 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 saying porn star. That's disrespectful. Uh, that scene's amazing though because they shoot one of them in the head and it's the weirdest thing yes. ever. Um, because like that's the response is oh no they're actually demon candy and like in this commotion the people don't even I think get out right or do no. they they're all like stuck or like or like our heroes run the wrong direction but it doesn't even seem like everyone else runs out the front door right it seems like this whole yeah thing. Now, our heroes right. go in weird directions constantly and like they go places they get trapped and then like the next thing they're like okay and they just like leave those areas and you're like yeah. what changed I don't know we've got to keep moving run Nothing. Um, I had to like really stare, like, because I was like, where do you get those crutches from? Because he goes down like this hallway on a, uh, you know, uh, wheelchair, wheelchair yeah. and then and then just like goes, oh, and he picks up the crutches off the side of the wall. And I'm like, oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm walking. Like, I'm like, oh, that's convenient. Place okay. there for your convenience, sir. Exactly. exactly. So the movie opens in a ridiculous way, where like it's these two characters that you see for four seconds. One of them's blind for no reason. She's not blind. Sue. Susie. Uh, and they come across a car. <laughs> I that's, think her character's blind. She, her character. She's faking. Blind. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna uh, say. She comes across a car that's flipped. It is the car of the boy. I think she's having a crush on, which is yeah. irrelevant. Uh, and then they go to drive away and their car flips also. And you're like, what did this beast do that is flipping cars left and right? It this was tentacle it was monster. In, yeah, like the tentacles were in the back seat and it like spooked them. And they, they, their car also, they were like, we can flip cars. Let's yeah, do it. It seemed yeah, like yeah, this yeah. crazy intense instant this, flip. So she, like these the blind are, girl ends up in the hospital. I was going to say, yeah. Kiss me, I'm dying. What? I can't, I can't hear you. Kiss me. What? I'm dying and I want you to kiss. And the nurse does. She's like, yeah. okay. <laughs> Whatever. This movie's got the horniness element to it, right? And she kisses her. That's the bookend, though, because at the end, when they're digging through the yeah. rubble of the uh, of the of the now destroyed hospital, right? There's what they say is a little girl who did not look like like a little girl to me. Looks like we got another one over here. Don't you worry, honey. You're gonna be fine. But I'll believe it, whatever. She looked um, far too little to be kissing somebody in the back of an ambulance to me. Sure, but she was like, uh, kiss me, mommy. I can't hear you. Kiss me, mommy. Kiss me. And then it goes, and there's like a thing or whatever. Yeah, that cuts. ending is just yeah. so abrupt. It's crazy. It's just like all of a sudden, oh, it exploded. Rocked by a mysterious explosion. We've got Bea Rodriguez live on the scene. Bea, what can you tell us? Thank you, Anne. Oh, okay, you're out. All right, and the heroes right. get out. Like that's well, they get they get out, or... but they are buried alive. They, well, they are, they are saved after being buried alive. Is, yeah, is what I mean. Like it ends with them. They're okay, type of thing, right? But uh, yeah, mm. crazy. Yeah, real quick ending. <laughs> I thought we were dead.
Well, and like before that, like we mentioned, the uh, the weird cobbled together. I think they were like, we have to show the the full alien head at some point. Okay, fuck, do it now. We need to do something, right? There's like digital slow mo in a few places. And he just kind of pushes her with his uh, crutch, and that causes I I like the effect, but like half of her face it like falls off, off yeah. right? But then it just instantly cuts to her with with, with no more human face and just like a weird Star Trek looking alien uh, whatever face. Yeah, right? not a scary or intimidating no. alien, just a goofy big headed kind of alien. Yeah, just like a very stock alien. I think that the cover may be like a weird CMKY to RBG conversion issue because it's like green and those are like orange or something. Well, in the, the background the of the three girls, there is the actual alien. Okay. Uh, I just think that's someone's creative vision creative license. we're like oh this will make us money i feel like someone must have been upset like why is it not green they're green ah print it <laughs> whatever <laughs> uh the, the director of this i i think basically did nothing else yeah Before... Brian, wait up, you son of a bitch. directed this. this or something right yeah that was it i'm fascinated by the story uh behind how this happened or what or like what's going on here right yeah. i'm not but no? i i <laughs> well that's fascinating no, it seems like there was, you know, like, like fun was had making this to some degree. They show those outtakes, and it doesn't take yeah. itself seriously, so it's this strange thing. No, um, I, I almost think that by necessity it didn't take itself seriously, because yeah. I don't think any of the actors were actors. A lot of them are not. When yeah. you go look them up, they're not, uh, uh, I think one or two had some TV or something. Oh, always the boss. <laughs> okay, you go back upstairs. Guys, I will go back upstairs. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> we have to stick. Together. Whenever you see it, like a thing like this, where I'm like, I'm like okay, yeah. it's a bunch of you know no-named people. Not that no-named people can't be actors, but when you start to watch them acting, you're like, you're like okay, oh. you may fancy yourself that an actor, but, but these are not actors. Yeah, so the movie can only have had so much of a budget, which means like you're going to be having a certain amount of fun or yeah. tedious torture yourself. You know, no, the main guy, ways. Matt, is from the Evil Bong series. Open up, bro. What is this doing here? Yes. So we have that pedigree. But yeah, like the other dudes, the Which other I people. I will also say aren't actors. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Like the other people. Except for Tommy Chong. The other people that you pointed out in different places, like you're kind of too old, you might be an, an adult uh, person, whatever. Yeah. A lot of those people, yeah, don't have, you know, if you go on IMDb, there's not a lot going on there. No. Yeah. How can you even think like that? He's your best friend. That was before he was infected. There, there's a nurse whose job is literally to sit in a chair, like, all right, call me when something happens. And, and like, she is just the beep monitor. You stay here and watch the monitors. If the numbers go up, come and get me. The thing starts to beep and she gets up. <laughs> like, that, that is her job. Okay. This is a woman's paid probably 50 grand a year is to sit there <laughs> and be a beep. That's more of an indictment of our uh, medical system than of this movie, though, yes. Fact. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Oh, No, the one like head nurse, I think her name is Sally. She actually had cool IMDb credits. She had like a million composer and music credits and a few movie things. Sally. Hey, Doc. I'm not disturbing you. I like her transformation. She goes from being all mousy in the beginning. Uh -huh. Dr. Dixon, they need you on two. I'll be right there. Okay, chill. And then when she gets infected, he's like, oh, is your hair different or whatever? And she she ends up killing our our dude Joey with like an alien blowjob and bites. How about a little alien? Really? <laughs> his whole crotch out yes over. that yeah. is quite a mouth because yeah. yes the whole like crotchal Giant. region is gone yes I picked ah! sure some weird hump thing happening there off, off camera right? he, yeah he had a problem yeah. with chafing thighs from riding a bicycle and she said I'll take care of that I'll take care of all of it exactly yeah and that's cool. And the other, there's that scene where they uh, talk to that same doctor. Every doctor in this is like horny too. And they're all yeah. like interchangeable pasty white dudes. It's very hard to tell them apart from me and know what's going on. Going down. Catch you next time. 
but there's like the frumpy female doctor who's the one who says yeah. like, it's quarantine time or whatever. You can't just hold us against our will. I yeah. certainly can. <laughs> We're in the middle of a viral outbreak. We don't know the cause or the cure. So until further notice, this hospital is quarantined. No one is permitted in or out with the exception of those under 12 and over 65. And then you find out, like, she's been quarantining it all. You didn't realize she was infected the whole time. I saw him first. He's mine, you know that. Ooh, hey, stop. She comes back and then she's infected, right? Yeah. Because they now, you know, and like the doctor's like, ooh, threesome time. You ladies seem like you're on the same page. And like they are, but they, blah, they call yeah. him all him right there. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, there's plenty of me to go around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A threesome. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that happened where you're not quite yeah. sure of their intentions because they seemingly are trying to get them all into frisky scenarios for for breeding purposes, I, I imagine. But then it doesn't seem like they really require that because it seems like they breed mouth to mouth from female to female. Yeah. What are you trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> And so I don't know why they're screwing with the guys uh, like, at all. And like the, you know, they cocoon them and they spit up a blood or there's blood dribbling out. So I'm like, uh -huh. oh, cocooning, fluids coming out. This must be like a spider, how it's like digesting you in some weird way. Uh -huh. But there's no feeding on the cocooned men. There's Not no, that we see. There's no. no weird girl power of that. And maybe they're dropping them in the baby's little square of whatever. Who like, is... like in Aliens, where it's going to like hatch out of them and eat I them or know. something. <laughs> Oh my God. I know. There's something missing there. I think it's all just assumed or it's meant like, you've seen movies like this before, you know what's going on. Does that sort of deal? Yeah. Maybe. God! You knew about this. You're one of them, aren't you, pal? Well, look at him. He's leading us right to them. I see what hey, hey. It's a little odd, but it's also kind of refreshing that our female, uh, you know, the, the actual girlfriend, she wants sex. She's she's a virgin, which you're like, oh, okay. Uh, and you think that, like, you know, they'll have sex and she'll die or something because that's kind of what happens in movies. But uh, our yes. dude is like, no, this is the worst time for that. Yeah, what do you mean? This is not the time or the place for this. And that's nice because you don't often see that. So to, yeah. to see that in, like, a very low-budget movie, I'm, I'm like, okay. Now? Yeah, right here, right now. <sighs> well, Julie and Cherry are going to be right back. I don't care. Come on. And he survives for, for that, something. right? He, he does. Uh, and ends up with a much better, cooler girl that he's been ignoring this whole time, who I think is underage by, by implication here, because he's the other one's younger sister. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's just you and me. Hello. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> it's Well, they're, they're all in the high school bus, so I would assume... Yeah. I have no idea what's going on there. He is the captain, which implies he's probably a senior. So yeah, know. there's probably some weird stuff probably going on. Probably something dicey going on there. I told you you should have driven that ride totally sucked. I had to be with my boys, baby. I'm the captain. But I'm your girlfriend. There's a lot of tropey stuff in here, right? I like how that, you know, she's the younger uh, sister to this, uh, you know, other dude who dies, mm -hmm. right? And that dude, before he dies, because he was, like, partially infected, he's like, I can feel the hive mind or whatever, right? He's, like, in touch with them and knows uh -huh. where they're going and what's going on. He's, like, interpreting certain things for them, and they feel like yeah. he might betray them at any moment, right? But it's such a shitty version of that. It makes me laugh. I, like, enjoy this. Yeah. There's an exit the southwest corner of the hospital. They're not there yet. There's nothing for them there. Uh, you know, on that level. When he's like, uh, it's sugar for the babies. They want me to have some. Like all these weird yeah. things. You're like, what the fuck? What are you doing? It's okay. They want me to have some. They won't hurt me. And, oh, there's more than enough. There's more Joey, than enough. Joey, stop it. Stop it. It's sugar for the babies. Babies? Yeah. It's, on, uh, on part yeah. of the tropes is like the girlfriend going like, ah, my cell phone battery's dead. Like just like she <laughs> says it like the out loud. The battery's not. Like, the battery's out. Yeah. Hello? Hello. Can't use that in here. Tell me about it. Out loud, just to make sure. To Everybody's no one clear. in particular. My battery just died. Perfect. I like how that janitor uh, dies in oh, the, uh, the whole elevator. The sequence, elevator. Yeah. That that whole it's so awkward because like oh, oh it's, it's, first of all the girl that's <laughs> in the elevator is the same one that like tried to sleep with the brother uh -huh. and when she tried to do that he's like wait no one will believe me and he snaps a picture of her but that picture gets deleted and I'm yes. like I'm, I'm like. No, 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 no! Did you mess with my phone? Shut up, Joey. They don't show what Loose exactly showed end. up. And I'm wondering, did it, did it not show up because she was an alien? Like, did it show just the wall? Or yeah. did, was it literally not there? Because he didn't show it. Um, I know. That's, a, that's an important loose end that we're never going to know the answer yeah. to, right? Yeah. But I, just picture that. Hang on! 
before anything happens, let me potentially ruin this from ever ever taking place. Yes, and she's into it though, luckily. Yeah, luckily. That was my thought, was like, wait, you, you know, you know. She, wait, hold that pose. Nobody's gonna believe me. <laughs> any any, any non-alien infected candy trapper would be like, I could get fired for this, no. Yeah. Don't, don't take my picture right now. But that elevator scene's amazing because this actress actually downs a whole packet of sugar like on camera yeah. and you can see it all. And I'm like, that's kind of gross. I don't know if people are like into that, but I feel like that's a weird gross powdery thing to do. That and was they actually, just have a bunch of actresses doing she it. She is the Playboy Playmate and that mm. was one of her turn-ons was sugar packets. Sugar packets. Yes, the, 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 the constant voracious sugar packets and eating. The little sister has a line. Like, w- women like that do not shove pastries in their faces, in public at least. Yes. Like, something, something weird is going on here. That's their little, like, detective work tip-off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, seriously, girls like that do not go around just shoving pastries in their mouth. At least, you know, not in public. Something that's funny to me is, is how many movies we watched recently that like quarantines and viruses and bullshit without any planning at all just happen to be how uh, that yeah. shit works out now. And like, yeah, yeah, we're in quarantine. Ah. No, it's it's an element of so many movies and it's like a double-edged sword now where it's like, uh, that's not how people really act when there's quarantine because now we like have seen all the, all these examples yeah. of stuff. Uh, and also, yes, on the nose, we're like, ugh, yikes. Don't, make, don't like remind me about this in the middle of my dumb movie <laughs> full of... Excessive candy consumption and uh, you know brief nudity. Nobody's oh leaving. Nobody's leaving right Nobody's now. Leaving. Remain calm, sir. Get the hell out of Please the remain calm. You can't keep uh, this. That's about it. <laughs> oh, another brief nudity here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to CannibalVideo.com. Pick up some merch, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. Yeah.